Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 15th. This week, I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, so if you haven't had a chance to check her out yet, please do so below at the link in the top of the description. We are helping each other grow, and it's been pretty awesome so far. Uh, also, uh, this week I'm doing a 20% off sale on all my readings, so if you want a reading, now is the time to get one. Uh, I am going away at the end of the month, so that's why I'm doing this, and uh, I will not be available for readings for a little over a week, uh, you know, at the end of the month and through the beginning of September. Um, I will not be available at all to take readings. So I did this last time I went away, and it worked out well. So again, if you want a reading, now's the time to get it because I, I will be gone. Um, so, you know, that goes for this week and uh, part of next week. But other than that, let's take a look at what is going on for you um, this week. And let's see. Yep. Okay. Looks good right away. Definitely dealing with some people this week, having a lot of people to deal with. And I like to see that last card as well. So it looks good. Let's see here. <clears throat> um, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do about that. Well, we'll, we'll touch on something in just a second, but you have the Jack of Clubs, which is you. You also have the Queen of Clubs showing up, so you kind of are, are showing up twice in this reading. It's a very good thing when you show up in your own reading. It puts you in a position of power, a position of strength. Really allows you to get what you want from the week, as I say. But uh, Jack of Clubs is about looking towards the future and, and planning out the future and planning out the things you need to do for the future. I always say this is like probably one of the best goals cards in the deck because it suggests that you will be taking action on your goals. You'll actually be doing what you need to do to reach certain goals and things like that. So I, I, I like to see that for you, of course. Uh, definitely is, um, you know, a better energy and also a, a looking forward energy. I feel like uh, Leo has been, you know, stuck uh, with dealing with horrible past cycles. So I think with these two clubs cards, it can definitely represent moving past these like um, cycles in your life, if that makes sense. Next, you have the Queen of Clubs. Same thing. Again, I, I really get the sense now, um, now that I'm on the second card and kind of towards the end of the last one, that it seems like this uh, whole cycle thing, it's almost like you're coming to the end of these cycles. It, it's uh, it's gonna, going to sound very weird, what I'm about to say, but, um, you know, like I said, I see this like corkscrew. For most of you, I think most, and, and it's like every time you reach a certain point on the corkscrew, something very similar happens in your life. I think Leo knows what I'm talking about, though. I think you've been through this thing where it's like every single year or every single few years or something, it's like you go through these same cycles. Um, and this is a weird part. Now I'm just seeing like these, uh, broken stepped lines and I think that what it's saying is that now it's like every single year is going to be different or things will be different so uh really weird but I you know I think it's a lot better I'd rather have every single year be different than being stuck on the hamster wheel so uh I think that things are definitely going to look up for you definitely a weird message to get on this card though next you have the jack of spades be careful of uh, tricky people this week, definitely. Be careful of anybody co that comes in that you think is like probably too good to be true or something like that. Just be aware of it. It's not like a bad card. It's just a card to think about. It's just a card that says, hey, just watch out for these things. Make sure something doesn't happen. Uh, on the flip side, this card's also about using your resources, planning out better use of your resources, and looking at your resources. What I'm getting is actually, I think that some of you are almost at a point now where you do have, like you're up in your resources. That goes for everything, not just money. That goes for like your energy, how you feel, uh, the people around you, the resources in people around you, I feel like are all kind of like up. Um, I'm getting some real, really weird messages for you this week. Um, just even the, uh, the imagery in my head is just a little bit, um, <laughs> a little bit weird. So, but I, I think it's a good thing. It's definitely, um, different and definitely good. Very mechanical too. Um, I, I'll say that. So maybe that'll help some of you out. It's, uh, it's like every, all this imagery, these like flashes I'm getting are very mechanical. A lot of mechanical things, almost like gears turning and things. So, uh, that could be a, a, a good thing for you as well. Next, you have the Ten of Hearts. Fortune after difficulty, good things happening for you at, after a difficult period of time. I, I like to see this for you. Uh, definitely a card of improvements. Also a card of socializing, get-togethers, family get-togethers, friendship get-togethers, and just having a good time. And uh, it's, it's also a card of happiness. So it could just be a, overall a card of um, you know having a happy week, having a good week this week, uh, and th just seeing general improvements. So that's good for you.
Next, you have the Five of Spades. Uh, this has been coming up for you quite frequently, I have to say. All about taking more risks and pushing yourself. I think you are, in a lot of ways, I think it's becoming more clear to me um, over the past couple of weeks what is happening for you. And I think you are being presented with opportunities to put yourself out there more, to take more risks, and to really like get to another level. I really just see Leos kind of like jumping to this whole new level in their lives. It hasn't been easy. It's not going to be easy. It's like there's this like thing that might be um, might have been preventing you for many years. But I feel like finally a lot of you, if you can take these risks and and do it, uh, then you will be more successful than ever. And that really comes up here too with the Four of Spades. Four of Spades is a great card. It represents building more comfort in your life and finally like being more comfortable and creating a more comfortable outcome for yourself. So I think in a lot of ways, a lot of you are doing that. And it's also a card of recovery. So it represents like things kind of recovering for you, things improving in general. I really like this message for you. I actually, I really like this week for you. I think things are really looking up for you. I think there are a lot of improvements. I, I don't know. It just feels like a different week for once for you. And, uh, you know, I think that's a good thing. And you end with the five of clubs. Again, needing to take more risks. But this is a card of do, uh, enjoying more hobbies, having the time to enjoy new hobbies, creating new hobbies, doing things that are more fun. Um, and it's also even a card of even building a business around a hobby. So some of you might have a new hobby and maybe you're thinking about turning into a business or making a little bit of cash off of it or something like that. I think of, uh, you know, like just to give you an example, my dad recently got a drone, um, one of those like drones for flying around with a camera on it. And I think about him uh, starting that and, you know, and how you could easily make extra cash off of something like that, you know, doing videos for real estate and all this other stuff that he's been talking about. Um, so, you know, just an, just an example, maybe some of you have picked up a drone or something like that and could make just even just a little extra cash off of it or something. That's what this card's all about. But anyway, looks like a great week, actually. I think it's just a week of improvements. I don't, it's like, it's weird. I don't think anything major is going to happen. I don't think there's like any of these like major events or anything, but it just feels like a nice week of things moving forward and just general improvements. It's like not just one specific thing. So enjoy it and uh, definitely thank you for watching.